Hey everybody, welcome to The Art of Comics. It's me, Andre Salazar. We are here in the Sequoias, the Kings Canyon National Park. I am here on vacation with my family, and I brought this book, Dave Sims, High Society, Cerebus Volume. I think this is maybe Volume 4 or something like that. Um, I know of Cerebus, I know of Dave Sim, um... I have heard about Dave about Dave Sim. I know he's a complicated person with some, uh, you know, potential misogynistic viewpoints, things like that. I am a person who have always separated art from the artist. That's just the way my mind works. So, despite what personal thoughts or, you know elements of him are out there which may or may not be true i'm talking about what he's created and as i did a little research about his cerebus um, series i've heard that high society is the one to get that this is kind of like the pinnacle of um, i think church and state is also good but i've heard high society is good so i picked this up i ordered it, i think like thrift books something like that kind of a used copy and I wanted to read it. I brought it with me camping and I've read it. Now I'm about halfway through, so I'm gonna just share with you a little bit of my thoughts. And then when I get back to uh, Ventura, the, the headquarters of the Art of Comics, we'll uh, strip down the, you know, the pages and we'll talk about the art and talk about the whole thing. But as far as the first like third of the story goes, this is all indie created i mean this is one of the things that dave sim has always been kind of promoting is that this is like self-published work he's a big promoter of being self-published and the fact that this is self-published is pretty impressive like it's very well done um it does feel this is 19 this is 1986 and 87 is when this volume came out. So, you know, he'd been working on this for years before that. Um, you know, and this is right in the mid 80s when everything was popping in comics. And I have to say that this needs to be in that conversation for those important things happening in the 80s. Um, the art alone is really well done. I'm going to talk more about that when I finish this, but the art is really impressive, like extremely well done. A draftsman, uh, the, what, the different, like his line, his contrast, silhouettes, uh, uh, composition, the spotting blacks. I mean, he, as far as visually using black and white, really, really, really good. Like, excellent as far as the story goes let me just say this the first i'm like 100 and I'm 170 pages or so um and i'm gonna keep reading tonight it's it's a little obtuse it's a little challenging now this is like like i said this is in the middle of the story so maybe if i would have started in the beginning i would have understood why you know cerebus is the way he is why he talks in third person why he's a curmudgeon, all that kind of stuff. Um, but this is not very plot heavy. It's it's very different. It's it's hard. It's actually kind of hard to read. It's it's challenging in some ways because it's not traditional. It doesn't have a kind of structure that we're used to finding in comics or in just normal narrative storytelling. It is. Um, it's it's kind of heady and it's kind of odd and it's it's a challenge so that's where i'm at now um especially the first hundred or so pages i was really slogging through but now we've we, we're kind of getting a little bit of momentum and i think i'm like understanding what's going on and and it's picking up a little bit for me but um i'll, I'll tell you more once i finish this and we're back home but uh i've really been i have to admit i mean I had a couple days where I was like having troubles, but then tonight I'm like, I'm feeling it. So let's talk more when we get home.
Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, you guys know I love loving things and I love comic books and that's why I do this. So I have been very excited to really sink my teeth into Dave Sims' Cerebus series and um, I read it. I read, okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I read half of it. 500 pages. I got to page 200 and 95 292 I'm tapping out yeah I'm tapping out um here's my thoughts this part of this could be my mistake I did get volume four this is high society i looked online so i skipped the conan the barbarian stuff all the earlier stuff i skipped it i went straight to this one because i had heard this one was the better story and there's some cool elements and ideas he's doing the kind of satire the societal commentary on what's going on in the mid 80s remember this is happening right around the same time as like bill sinkevich's Moon Knight, which he kind of roasts with Moon Roach. And I don't know what the background of that is. If he had a big beef with Bill or why he wanted to do Moon Roach. But there's a character in here I'll show you in a moment about Moon Roach. Um, here's the thing. It became homework. And let me tell you, you see that stack of books, those stacks of books over there? I haven't even read those yet. I also have... All the books I bought at Comic-Con, which I showed on the previous video, down over there. And I've got a bookcase of books I haven't read upstairs. So your boy's got comics up his ears. And if it's feeling hard to read, I'll keep going. It was feeling hard to read on page 100, but I kept going. When it gets hard to read at page 300... Okay, I got to tap out. I got too much stuff going on. What I love about Dave Sims' work is the art. I really like the... He, I have to say, I'm putting him in the comic masters category because visually, the ability... Just, just like right here, just what he's doing here, right here. I just flipped this just right here. What he's doing here, page compositionally and storytelling and using these panels and, and telling the story is really good, is really great. Visually, he understands comics really well. His drafting is very well. The, the contrast is great. The lighting, the way he uses Zipatone is really great. Visually, this is really good. And... I'll say this as well. There's some cool ideas in here. There's some cool kind of ways he's telling story and things I haven't really seen before. He'll put out, there's pages where he puts out the script, the comic book script. He puts that and then puts a few panels and things. I mean, he's doing some really innovative things. And I think if there's something that someone would want to study as far as how to make comics and the ways in which you can make comics, you can't go wrong with actually Dave Sims. Okay? So educationally, you know, from that kind of lens, yeah, dude, this is actually really cool. And uh, I just wish the story, I wish the actual story was as good as his techniques. I don't mean to be harsh. It's not like Dave Sims going to be reading this. Um... But the story, I don't feel connected to Cerebus. He seems like a complete ass. The people around him seem like buffoons or they're just, they're, there's no like agency within those characters. Um, and maybe this is commentary too on everything. Just, there's just, and the, the political element and, and all this, I'm just, I can't get into it. I just can't get into it. And it's, it's, it's a bummer because I want to keep looking at the pictures and I want to keep like studying it and what he's doing in the comics. But I just don't want to sit here and read it because I'm not interested. 
I would have loved for Dave Sims to work on another type of project, either his own stuff, or hell, I would have loved to have, for him to pull out a Batman story or a whatever story or, a, you know, freaking X Men, whatever. Or does he even have to be superheroes? It could be, it could have been Walking Dead. I don't know, but the man knows how to draw, and he knows how to make a comic book story. It's just um, this one is just hard to go through. So um, let's also just keep looking. I'm going to flip the camera over. You've been watching some of me talking about it, but now we're going to like go through some of the specifics of this. But um, that's my take. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, oh, this, this just happens to be that... Uh, Roach, Moon Roach character, uh, kind of a psychotic character, and he, uh, his, his name is Kevich, as in Sinkevich. So clearly, it is a dig on both the character and the creator of Bill Sinkevich, and I don't know what that's about, but let's go back to the top here. Um, I love this. I love the rendering of this. Cross etching. We should mention that, um, he had an assistant for some of this, and his name was, I think it was Gerard, uh, as he mentioned. I don't know if he's actually mentioned on this. Talks about Barry Windsor Smith, Neil Adams, Mike Kaluta, all three brilliant guys. Um, okay, so, yeah, I don't, oh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to say Gerard, Ger, Gerard, Gerard, I'm going to say Gerard. Anyway, uh, he did some things on this I mean just looking at the front page and when I first got this I'm like whoa look at this like just the design of this is so well done I love where the the lettering is going I love the black I love the words you know this is just all really well done I'm like oh this guy knows design and stuff looking at these pages you're really looking at great stuff there's a little bit of manga influence and maybe he studied some Japanese work prior to this as far as just the way some of these panels are laid out but um yeah the the contrast and the blacks are so well done the silhouettes here with the bed i mean it's i'm gonna be gushing about the art because it really is good stuff i got this used um on thrift books or something like that for maybe 10 15 bucks so you can find these um around town he's using a, the same zip -a tone for cerebus he's got his kind of like we'll call it coloring for lack of a better word uh but he a lot of silhouettes a lot of black you know when you're using black and white you have your limited so then you have to really kind of dial in some of these visual cues another thing i really like is just his facial expressions his ability to um draw faces have them be expressive is very good so great positions i mean i can't go through this whole thing <laughs> it'll take me hours but it's good man really cool lettering here really like the faces here very emotive uh, i like his line work too look at this lot look at the his the brush work he's using this is really cool the line variation here is extremely well done really like it again look at this the shadowing here is really good also you have your non paneled out panel no borders there which is cool nice use of kind of a fun different type of zip -a tone deleter screen type thing great dutched angle again it's just like so many things every page I could point out something really cool these guys these like Barbarian types are really fun. He gets kidnapped. It's this idea of, you know, um, everybody's out for him. Look at these faces. So good. But there's some other things. This is kind of fun, too. Yeah, here's some, some ideas. Just these type of panels. He's doing, like, an interview. He's being interviewed. And while they're being interviewed, they're just having a one or so panels. And it's just kind of a cool idea. I like this. Again, 
really trying to look at different ways to tell stories, a combination of pictures and words. And so this is just a different way of doing it. And I like it. It's kind of fun. It's this is this part of the story was very um, you know, a little esoteric. A little a little out there. Uh, a little surreal. Um, but I think it's a commentary. You know, I didn't read the whole thing, but it's it's a commentary on government, current government, his 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 thoughts on uh, politics and society. And Cerebus is full of piss and vinegar, you know. And it was a kind of this dream. It kind of wakes out. Well, it was a great face here. Really expressive stuff. Um, what else? There's some other little moments where he's doing stuff. Here's the fairy. She's kind of cool. Different ideas. Here's where we get into the Moon Knight character. Um, Moon Roach. These are kind of fun. These are all like, you know, cribs from Neil, Neil Adams and those type of guys. Yeah, really cool. I love the, I do love the rain effect too. It's really, really well done. This is a nice panel here. Again, silhouette. There's like all these different images in here. It's all done, really well done. This is cool. I do like this where uh, the border of figures get um, dissolved into the blackness, the background. That's really neat. This is cool. This here, this looks like a, a cover of a, of Moon Knight. So it's pretty fun. Pretty fun. So I was excited to get to that part. I, I had heard about that before. Uh, oh, here, yeah, here's part where, where here's more letters. Maybe people might say that's kind of a cheating, but I don't think so at all. Um, I think it's just a different way to tell the story. So. Yeah, let me know if you guys want me to talk more about this. We could we can do more. We can dive more into this, but I think this is good. I think you get the the gist. Um, a craftsman, uh, you know, I would say, visually a master of how to make a comic book, and he did this all self published too. One must one must remember that, you know. Um, so there you go. Okay. That's it for Cerebus. I did my, I did my, 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 I tried it. <laughs> okay, next up, if you want to know what's coming up next, I'm going to give you a little, a little surprise, a little funness. I think this will be the, the, the next video. It's going to be Lost Girls. I've never read that. I've always wanted to. It's another one of these books that I've always wanted to read. I'm going to finally read Lost Girls. It's going to be hot and heavy probably. Uh, I'm excited about it, so we'll give it a shot. That's coming up next. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.